Okay, folks, welcome to another Isotroposphere video review of the Bleep Labs and Geiskis three trends RGB plus one C. Yeah, that's a big name there, as you can see. Three trends RGB plus one C is an analog audio video synthesizer. So um, that's it there. And um, without going over too many of the controls right now, as I just got this thing, uh, they're just sending them out now. And uh, I pre-ordered mine back in, uh, well, way back last year. Um, and it uh, finally arrived here. And with brief, minimal um, exposure to it so far, I'm delightfully excited. Uh, this thing appears to be um, just awesome in, in its capabilities. I'm just grazing the surface, so let me see if I can hook it up here for you and uh, give you a little taste of the, uh, well, let me give you some of the audio first. Um, I'm not adding any effects or anything to that, and that is just the green channel that you see right here. In fact, that just changed it, not me. And uh, as you can see up here, I've uh, patched in um, LFO number one and am modulating the signal with that. And uh, I've got it running on the on the video projector, but I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. Like I said, it's it's the gr just the green channel right now. So, let me see if I can hook up the video to the camera so you don't have to just sit here and look at the device itself. Hold on. Um, so this is what it's doing right now. And again, I'll, I'll start meth messing with some stuff here. And this is just in the green channel that I'm working uh, on these primary videos here. I may throw in some of the red and the blue, but uh, for right now, We'll just try to go with this. Thank you. 
So uh, I'll kind of keep this video review here a little short so that uh, you don't get too bored. Anyway, you can see I, uh, I threw in a little blue there and it's still got a little red in it right now. Um, but yeah, first experience with the three trends RGB plus one C. Uh, oh, oh, just to wrap up this video, I'll just give you a quick uh, close up of the of the patch board um, on this thing where the LFOs patched in, and uh, maybe a brief explanation of all the ins and outs and everything. All right, hold on. Okay, uh, we're back, and as you can see, this is a close-up of uh, the patch panel on it. Let me uh, zoom out here a little bit. You can see there's the, the whole device, and that's the uh, patch panel. You can see the LFO is patched out there. Starting from the top, you're going to see... Um, and basically, other than the very bottom where you see HOR, the BS, and the ground, um, and then on the other side, high, GSN, and RSN. Um, other than those three areas here at the bottom, um, all the other ones are, are dual outputs all the way up or inputs based on the arrows that you see here or in out um, for these these ones here red green and blue uh, so you have um, again starting from the top you have vid as you can see up there um, that is the incoming video signal um, that can be patched in I'm just using video out right now. Uh, then you have B minus. So R, G, and B minus are uh, used for another signal. And those are outputs. There are actually inputs. So you can use that for another patch bay signal there. It says use to cut another signal. And then you have the corresponding BCV. Um, and RCV and GCV um, these are basically the same as the 8th inch input jacks that you see to the left there uh, so those three input jacks you can have uh, CV or audio uh, coming into those and then um, you know use them in the, in the patch bay there uh, for that so then, you, then you're going to have your F2 and then F1, and that's the uh, LFOs that you see. And then the RSI, GSI, BSI are the sync signals for modulating those. G is ground. HOR is the input for the scroll adjustment. And uh, let's see, high on there is the voltage source. Can be used to, it says in the notes, can be used to set a red, green, or blue channel to full solid. Um, RG and B out, output for the color signal. This can be used to directly send a signal like an LFO, so those are ins and outs. Uh, correspondingly you can patch in or patch out from those two points um, you know and then your LFO outputs um, one and two and that's about it there for for all the patches and then you you know you've got your corresponding knobs on the front of this thing let me open it up here So for each of the red, green, and blue channels, 
you're going to have a volume control here. Sync. And that's how much, you know, everybody's familiar with that, I guess, if you're into the analog synthesis. Uh, this is your type for each of the, anal the oscillators. Um, to the left, this channel is a saw wave. Middle is triangle wave. And right is ramp wave. And that's also correspondingly for the three waves for each LFO. This is LFO1. This is LFO2. You have the type for those there. Again, that's going to be saw, triangle, and ramp waves. And then you have your range. You have a high and a low range for that. Uh, your pitch down here, um, corresponding to the pitch of the oscillator, as well as, um, you know, this setting this here is off and then mid-range is, is in the visible spectrum on the video output and then all the way to the right is, is high. Um, you've got a, a scroll function here for horizontal versus uh, that there and then this white button is for your vertical adjustment there. So, uh, I mean, a lot to mess around with. Again, there's, there's your, uh, you know, your, your video input video output, audio output, and then your RGB channels, uh, CV, or audio input. So right now we just have audio going out, on the, and the green channel is activated, with a little bit of modulation from the blue, and the LFO as well, and that's the only thing patched in here in the patch bay. So again, uh, thank you watching for watching this lengthy review, and, uh, you know, go out and get this thing. Bleep Labs and Geiskis uh, did a really awesome job. I can't wait to experiment with this thing more. And uh, you should too. Alright, so thanks for viewing.